Hello, welcome to Be Nice and Collect. After watching Artisan's review of Deadpool Nendoroid plus the announcement of Wolverine Nendoroid, I decided to get him. He was put on sale. It was like 25% off from its retail price. Before I unbox him, I want to share my appreciation on the box. It looks like a comic book. The sides of the box look like some pages of a comic book. What's inside surprises me and here how it looks. I appreciate how they put this together, it even across to my mind to have this MISB and display it this way. However, to fully appreciate an Android, you need to open it. So let's check it out. We got everything out, I removed the unboxing part to shorten this video. First, we got the pamphlet. Better check the pamphlet to cross-check if every part is included. It's through the pamphlet I noticed that there are comic speech bubbles hidden in the box. There are also instructions on how to put your Nendoroid and its parts together. He comes with a bigger Nendoroid base, a longer stand support, a small Nendoroid base, a short stand support, a connector to its box cupboard. Let me demo it quickly on how to attach it. Next, we have the stand connector for the pink unicorn, a stand support for the speech bubbles, and here are the different comic speech bubbles, two of which are English and the other two is Japanese. He comes with two identical swords. The design is very similar in the comics. As shown earlier, he comes with his box cupboard a hand holding a cell phone with a Deadpool logo on it, a hand holding a chimichanga, a right hand to hold the sword, to pair it with the hand earlier, a left hand to hold the sword. a thumbs up hand, an extra lower body in his boxers. Deadpool doesn't have extra face plates, however he comes with different eye expression. You can mix and match depending on your liking. Next is the pink unicorn. It does have a couple of articulation around its head and mostly on its legs. The pink unicorn is so pink that reminds me of my little pony. There is a hole on its body to attach the stand. He comes with an extra head munching a chimichanga this is only exclusive to the X version. You can actually disassemble the head just like a regular Nendoroid head. The eyes can be removed but the eye size is different from the extra eye expressions. So you won't be able to use the extra eye expressions on this head. As for the main Nendoroid, it comes with a default eye expression to replace the eyes. You need to disassemble the head, remove the eyes, and replace them with other eye expressions. For the Nendoroid body, he is wearing his costume, the one similar in the comics, which I prefer. For body articulation, you can move the arms up and down. You can also rotate it. The biceps can be removed and can be rotated.
the hands can be rotated or can be replaced. Similar on the other side. For his torso, you can rotate this 360 degrees. His hips can be rotated slightly. His legs can be rotated and can be moved around. You can also bend his knees. It can be moved this far. As for his shoes, this can be rotated. For display options, you can have him his usual thumbs up pose or you can have him in his boxers. Another display option is having him jumping for joy or doing a selfie with his chimichanga. And of course, you can have him enjoy riding his bright pink unicorn. Since we have an extra head and extra lower body, you can look for an extra upper body to easily have two Deadpool Nendoroids. And for our custom Nendoroid doll, Deadpool can wear anything. You can have him wear some bathrobes or simple clothes. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching this video. Shout out to Toy Unboxing Family for the support. See you in my next video. Bye bye.